Welcome everyone. As I said before, I would be redoing reviews. So, this is the White Tiger Zord. Yeah, um, I got a little question. Does that look in any way a tiger? No, that's more of a white lion. No matter how rare they are. Yeah. Something tells me they misinterpreted White Tiger and Lion when it came to translating the Sentai to the Rangers. Seeing as, as we all know, in Mighty Morphin, there was no White Ranger. I'm referring to the Sentai, because in Zoo Ranger, there was only the Green Ranger. As in Dragon Ranger. There was no White Ranger. This is Kiba Ranger's Zord. In the Sentai of Dire Ranger, as in uh, Gose Sentai Dire Ranger, not Tense of Sentai Goseja, I'm going for Dire Ranger here. And no, we're not going into a Kiba Ranger either. We're talking about Dire Ranger. Die Ranger, there was a character called Keeper Ranger, who was the White Ranger. Thing was, he was a child. And I'm not referring to his attitude, he was an actual child that became a Sentai. Yes, in one of the first scenes you see him as a ranger, he skateboards past a bunch of school teenage girls in, in suit and makes their skirts fly up, revealing their panties. Yes, and this is a 8 to 10 year old boy in a ranger suit with a talking sword and powers of wind. Yeah. Try and explain that. But, yeah. We're here to talk about this crazy thing. So, yeah. Overall, this is a nice stocky little cat. And I do say this is a lion more than a tiger because, well, look at the autonomy. That's more of a lion. The mane, the mouth. The arms, the hind legs. No, I don't have the sword for the tail. Yeah, you can practically see how this thing changes. But let's get into that later. First off, he has opening mouth. He does have lights and sounds, but mine's broken. I got him out of car boot sale a very long time ago. He was my first Megazord. Yeah, that says a lot. Because I've now got seven. He has up movement, claws, he has that movement, his claws slightly move, but that's due to transformation. Yeah. Now let's go into transformation. First off, what you're going to do is extend the legs. Now it looks a bit more like a tiger. Then fold the front portion up into that position. Then you fold the feet. Fold them back. And then slide them in. Fold it back and slide. Then Fold these up and turn them. Fold up and turn. Then slide the head up. Yeah. This is basically the full Zord. Now, I'm just going to say this. When Power Rangers came to the US or the UK. They actually brought us the Zords. I mean, they brought us 
the original Zords from the Sentai. So they sold us the excess of the Sentai toys. So this is the exact same figure as the Keeper Ranger Zord. It is the exact same. Now, up to the point of either Jungle Fury or... Okay, it's either up to the point of Overdrive, Jungle Fury and RPM when they started using their own molds. So that's when getting the Japanese version to complete the American version was impossible. So, yeah. I still say go for the Japanese version at that point. Mainly for the quality. But, yeah. Overall, still the exact same figure. Basically, on this guy you get shoulder articulation, elbow articulation, and that's it. He has that, but that's just falling away. He does have a crest, but that's for his combined mode. And I don't have any of the other Zords. Yeah. Nice little crest. See? Nice little crest. But, yeah. Overall, this is one of my favourite Zords. Now, I just want to say, in order to do the combined form of this guy and the Thunder Zords, or the Die Ranger Zords, you need to buy two separate sets, because the Dragon Thunder Zord was a separate figure, when the other Zords were a separate set. Yeah, in Japan, when it came up to certain series, you bought the Zords individually, and other times they would sell you a box set, depending on what series. But the thing is, with the Sentai, you got it in one set. With the Rangers, they sold it as two separate sets, mainly because the Dragon Zord was a figure on its own. So they thought, hey, this is a figure. Why is this in a Megazord? Shouldn't that be sold separately? So they sold it separately. So, yeah. Just a quick explanation. This is my review of the White Tiger Zord. I know I haven't gone over decals and other stuff, but seriously, do we really need to? There are so many reviews of this guy out there. I don't exactly need to go over too much. But, yeah. This guy, if you can find him, pick him up. So, see ya.